Hello friends, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I would be introducing you to two new formulas which Microsoft introduced towards the end of 2023. The names of these formulas are group by and pivot by. So without wasting any time, let's dive into it and understand how we can use this very useful formulas. So this is my spreadsheet and it has some data. Uh, it is showing like uh, the salesperson's uh, selling some products and uh, we also have like the total amount of units sold by the salesperson and total amount of sales for that specific uh, product so now in this data set if you want to summarize it like what was the total sales done by a specific or what was the total sales done by all my sale persons so it is possible you could use some complex formulae or you could use even VBA to do that. But now with the help of the new Excel formulas, this task has become so easy. And let me explain you how we can do that. So we will use this new formula called group by. So is equal to group by. And in the first parameter, like I want to group by my salesperson. So I'll select this. And now I need to know uh, how many units uh, the person has sold. So the unit sold is available in this column over here i come over here select it so if you see the first column which had the salesperson's name like that has been selected for the entire range comma uh, the column where we have the units sold and the third parameter after this comma we have to provide what kind of an operation you want to perform so since we need to know total amount of sales when uh, sales done by the specific salesperson i'm using sum complete the bracket hit enter and here you go if you would see here we have all the details here we have the name of the sale person and the number of units sold by each of the sale person and the total units you could see like 229 if you want to cross verify if i just select all these you could see at the bottom 229 was the total amount of units sold and here we have the data like each sale person making sales of how many units so isn't it interesting now let's take another example where we will see uh, what is the total sales amount for each of the salesperson. So same function I'll use is equal to group by the first parameter again, the column where we have the salesperson's name. The second parameter here in this case, we will have the column which has the total sales amount, which is the last column over here. I'll select it, comma, and this time again, I'll select sum, close the bracket, hit enter, and here you go. You have all the data so these are the total amount of sales done by each of my sales persons now a question would be coming to your mind uh, you have this details like the group by details now if you want some more details like uh, on top of the total number of units sold by the sale person you also need to know which products the sales person has sold so group by won't be able to do that but excel has introduced another very beautiful function called pivot by let's use pivot by and see how we can use it to have the details with respect to the salespersons and the product. So I'll use is equal to pivot by. Uh, I will provide like if you see uh, your first parameter is the row field. So which field we need in the rows. So once again, I'll select the salesperson column over here. In the column, I will select which is my second parameter, the product. So after comma, I'll select product. Beautiful. Third parameter is like what 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 I need to know. I need to know the units sold by each of my salespersons by product. I'll select this the third parameter, and my fourth parameter is the function, which is again sum. I use this complete my bracket hit enter. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow, beautiful. So in the rows we have the names of the salesperson, and in the columns we have the products, and towards the extreme right we have the total. So this is the beauty of pivot by. So if you're looking to analyze this kind of a data, so no longer you need to use the pivot table. Definitely, if you need to analyze more complex data, pivot tables would be more useful. But simple data, you could use this function pivot by and do your data analysis. So this was about the two new functions group by and pivot by. The only thing is like uh, these features may not be available to all. So what you have to do is like go to file, then account and within the account section, if you see over here, I have registered for Microsoft 365 Insider. So if you want to play around with these new uh, formulae, so in this drop down box, make sure that you select Microsoft 365 Insider. In the next update of Microsoft Office, you will get the latest functionalities, uh, which are in beta version for Microsoft Excel, and you'll be able to use the latest functionalities like pivot by group by as we had just seen in this Excel spreadsheet.
So that was about group by and by. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like my videos, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be updated with the latest videos I would be uploading. Guys, thanks for joining. I'll see you soon.